Welcome back to the Video Strangers Kenya YouTube channel. So we are here today, the three still. Um, and just before we begin and tell you what we have cooking for you today, I am Lucy. I am Joy. I am Harriet. And welcome. We shall be your hosts. We shall be the audience. Shall we be? No, you shall be the audience. Whatever. We shall be seeing our faces today. And I am really looking forward to this discussion because it's very subjective. It's very interesting. It is very all of those things because you will also have your opinions on them. And the topic for today is ta -da -da -da. <laughs> so it's hygiene products that every girl needs. So of course, the disclaimer that I've already given, what I need is probably not what you need and not what you need. So we all like have very different, um, different things that we need. Um, but yeah, let's hear about ours, right? Yeah, so yeah. First. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> very happy <laughs> to share personal story. Very right. nice. But mm -hmm. I feel like as ladies, as gullies. There are certain things that, that we is. definitely need. Mm -hmm. So for me, the thing number one to go products that I need is for hygiene, menstrual hygiene products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always walk with them. I always carry them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe the importance of being ready all the, the, all the time and having your own in it because menses can mess you up mm -hmm. most of the time and. It's important to know the products that you have. For for instance, me, I usually for my menstrual hygiene products, mm -hmm. I use pads. Mm -hmm. I use um, I use uh, they call what? <laughs> Panty liners. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, okay. uh, yeah. Those are the my to go. I am those girlies who believe to be prepared at all times. Scouts honor, of course, I was a scout when I was younger. So I usually have like almost everything that I would need there today. I am missing panty liners. This is also to say that we can also make mistakes and we run out. Okay. <laughs> so I have uh, pads. I usually have like a, a heavier, like for heavier flu. So for night ones. Um, and I also have like for lighter flu. I usually don't use pads a lot. But I never not have them in my bag because yeah. again I, I run into a girl in the toilet and she's like, "Do you have an extra pad?" And of course I do. Which one do you like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm a tampon girly. So I have again tampons in all their shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. I have the the super. I have the normal ones. I have the super, and I also have the the mini. So I always have them with me. Um, also for whoever needs them, I, I always have like extras all the time. I'm not in my period, but I, I find it important for me to have them. I have tissues, pocket tissues. Uh, when I have a bigger bag, I also carry a roll of tissue. I have those people. <laughs> and I have, um, I have the, what are they called? Wet wipes. I usually have sanitizer. I think it's in my, in, in my bigger bag. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's like super, super important for me. I have like a makeup bag um, and my period bag. Bag, which has like all of this and there's medication in there as well to take off. It's not a hygiene product, right? <laughs> yeah. But, but it's something you need for you. Yeah. Oh my god, I have, I have been before and like just be told, just let it sweat it out, do some exercise, it's gonna pass. I'm like, <laughs> are you seriously telling me that? <laughs> right now is to bang the door in your face like get out and then people have like very very um very very uh, versions of pain um like my mom tells me she doesn't know what period pain feels like and i'm like thank the gods i thank the gods for you but i do yeah. so she had to learn that through me and she watches me and she's like do you want to go to bed do you want some medication at first it wasn't something she'd understand because she couldn't really eat right but then later just watching me she's like do you want some meds what can i get you do you like some water just go rest we shall call you when dinner is ready and i don't even know if i want that dinner but thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think people, especially just dismissing people's experiences, yeah. um, just not take your meds. If that's what's helping you, take your meds. Also, if you want to wing it and, and, and do some crunches, hmm, whatever starts you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? Um, so, missing a bug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
But go um, behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I am a pads girl. Mm-hmm. I I usually just do pads and um, I'm just going to let the two of you talk about our the products we use. I think my biggest emphasis on hygiene products mm-hmm. is I'm I'm going to take it from a spiritual angle. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so energy mm. <laughs> energy is please you have to be cognizant of the energy that you have mm. the energy that you allow into your space and um, the people that you allow into your lives so hygiene might also look like is your partner a clean person oh, God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> is the house you stay in up to your standards? Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I mean, it's understandable to be lazy, so you are allowed to to Stay let your yeah, mm-hmm. to let your house look however you want it to be. But as long as your mental health is okay, your surroundings are good, you're good. So for me, the biggest thing is who am I letting into my space and into my body. Mm-hmm. If you are just bringing clean energy, just now, yeah. I, I, I like the, the fact that you, you've just dived into it and brought people in here. And I see, I see this, um, this whole entire thing. For example, a, men are allowed to have hair, but it's gross and women. But I like a natural woman. Okay? <laughs> the oxymoron. <laughs> The irony. I know. I'm like, okay, fine. You can have hair on your body. That was for women as well. Please keep the hair. Sometimes it's very therapeutic, by the way. Um, but as a man, you're keeping hair, but you don't even use deodorant. Yeah. Which, again, allowed. Go and be with a person who likes the smell of sweat. So natural, <laughs> natural, natural men. men. <laughs> yes, he likes natural men. Yeah. If, if deodorant yeah. makes you a natural man, yeah. by all means, be a natural around me. Yeah. So, like, and then you know the the way sw- um, hair traps sweat. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, fine. Let's 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 even leave the 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 okay. alone. Let's talk about pubic hair. Yeah. You wanna you want me to give you uh, oral sex? <sighs> and uh, and when I ask when was your last shower, you oh god. Oh no, no 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 like just no. First you can have hair if you like. Yeah. That's that's the prerogative. If I don't want to go down on you because you have hair, that's also my prerogative. If I do not want to go down on you and I tell you that you, it's because you're not sharing. First of all, I'm asking, my mouth is going there, okay? <laughs> so I need to know about what the hygiene looks like for you. And yeah. if you're not sharing, no, no. I will start thinking that we'll, maybe, I'm even getting... Oh, no horrible thoughts. It's horrible, so horrible gross. thoughts. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, then you don't have to go down on me. We can just have no. Okay. You think that something that is better put in my mouth? I will put, put it in my like vagina. No, no. with you. No, you're bringing all the infections to my yard. Okay, <laughs> no. <laughs> but like, yeah, shower. Like, let's let's just. It's mm-hmm. the best, the most minimum, Basically, the barest. Yeah. Oh. And I didn't say wait, wait, I said shower. Yeah. Well, you're talking about <laughs> that. That is one of my hygiene, to go hygiene, mm-hmm. shaving. Yeah. So I have, I use <laughs> Gillette. Yeah. I don't believe in waxing. I don't know for some reason. You don't believe? I don't believe in no, I don't, it's not I don't believe. <laughs> Definitely with you there. I am scared of waxing. I will try it someday. someday. You know, those people of I can try something once, right? Um, if I like it, I like it. But I, I, I'm also like a shaving person. Just for for the fun, like I like it. And when I don't want to do it, then I don't do it. But I, w- I would never. I realized like there was that I had to really examine why do I shave. 
Yeah. Uh, and this is because I like it, but there was also the narrative of, oh, here, like I said, is not attractive and a woman. Yeah. I, if if that's, that was the case, like if men were repelled just by hair or my body, I would never ship anything. I know. Oh my God. It's like, even when you have hair, they're still cast calling you, they're still, so it, it's nothing. Like it's, you will shame, you, shame yourself in your sleep for shaming other people for existing in bodies that are natural to them. And I am mad. The main reason why I shame is because, uh, let's say for example, you're about to mm, have your menses mm. and you know, yeah. I think I was, I was really conditioned on mm. that shaping thing. Mm -hmm. And especially my experiences with my ex, you know, he wants you like an infant. Yeah. Um, so and that I just be on your yeah. uh, So I was in love. I was what? not going to question what he wanted me to do for him. Oh. My skin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, actually, saying, it was it was a buffuna. Those dilettes that Asian was advertising yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. oh, was it dilettes were big? They were big. Yeah. They were big. They were big. Yeah. And then after aloe vera, mm, smooth. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was very, it was a very toxic relationship. I finally got out of it. Hey. So recently, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the person I am with is like, no, may not like shaved women because it is. Okay, I think he said it in a way that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what he said. <laughs> but basically, it is a natural role mm -hmm. for you to expect me mm -hmm. to be as smooth as a baby. Mm -hmm. Does not make sense. sense. Because yeah. even if I do shave this day, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. there is evidence that hair will be here. Yes. So yeah. it's like if you want to shave, mm -hmm. You do it, mm -hmm. but me, I prefer you as you are. You mm -hmm. know how to go through all these lengths to do it for me. Mm -hmm. So I think it really brought me back mm -hmm. to myself. It got me questioning why I was doing, doing it in the past. Yeah. Why do I need to do it moving forward? Mm -hmm. This is a person who is comfortable with my body the way it is. It is yeah. So he makes me comfortable with my body mm -hmm. like it the is. I do not have to prove anything. Yeah. So if I do share, it's because of my own reasons, yeah. yeah. but it's not pleasing someone, someone else. else. I'm so glad I got liberated, even if it is through someone else, but still. It's oh. liberation, we'll take it how oh. it comes at this point. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. really yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah, all right. And now we're talking, and we put in the aspect of like aloe vera and coconut oil. Yeah. Very important, you do not want to be itching. Oh my <laughs> god! You're walking and you're like... And it really comes in public. <laughs> no, me, I said, if men can scratch their balls in public, then I can <laughs> scratch my, my, like, my pubes in, in public. <laughs> That's the point I wanted to talk about. About like, taking care of their skin. Because like, of course, yeah. that's part of the skin. Yeah. Um, but like, every person has like a different... Hey, I'm telling you, with the skincare routine, yeah. that I see my 16-step skincare routine, <laughs> and I'm like, how do you read my like, parts? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is there is there like a chart? Like, do you know, uh, watch for five minutes? Do you do for this? I admire those women. I really do. And men. And men. Oh, men. Men. it's so beautiful. I just don't have the discipline to just follow through. Uh, no, but yeah, just like having something that you do to take care of your skin. Yeah. Um, it could be, for instance, for me, I have a. I have forgotten the names of the products. Clearly, uh, the early girl in me has gone for a rest. Um, but like having um, a cleanser and my biggest one, I think, is sunscreen. Mm -hmm. I used to think because I was taught that sunscreen is for white people. Yeah. <laughs> so I am out here white people with my sunscreen for melanated skin. Yeah. Because I'm currently using like a car. It doesn't leave the, the white sheen. I, I hated that way she I really did and then I got uncovered and I'm like huh oh, okay goes with my skin doesn't leave like yeah. spots on my face yeah. good expensive but good okay um and like of course like uh I'm also a makeup girl so I do makeup and like I have like products to remove the makeup afterwards yeah. um unless I ended up drunk and I slept in my makeup <laughs> Then you pack your pillow and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that, 
that that was a joke. Um, but like here, just taking care of my skin um, in that way. I love makeup. I will still not do the 16 step with like street foundation and street concealer and I don't know powder and blush and I'm still not there yet. Okay. But I enjoy the process and I yeah. think it's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I really sorry, I missed the quack on my hand. Something to do with the skin also, mm -hmm. if I may add. I also don't have a 16 hours routine <laughs> on the process, but I take care of my skin yeah. for a fact. So for me, I use two products. I use Kwasi. I don't know if you guys are. What is it exactly? Explain. Eh. Oh. <laughs> is a scrubber. Ah. So you put the quasi in your nini, then you scrub you every day. day. Not every day, like those days you feel like, oh, I want, I need to yeah. Yeah. get this dress. Take, <laughs> take care of my skin. <laughs> so I use quasi. I also use my product. Uh, I have this year matter mm -hmm. on my own. I have a company called Ama Naturals. I have my Ama Naturals. Mm -hmm. Those are the two major to go for my skin. Mm -hmm. And let's let's see how I don't let, let's I don't end. I don't use any other thing in my skin. So okay. No makeup. No lashes. 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 No when you get the product um, online, I'm a naturals at 824. Wow. Yeah. Hey, anyway, we shall not forget because it's yeah. the year of the finance bill. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you can order and you, you, you love it. Yeah. Okay. So, that's like my to go. What's the same? It's a part of my attention. I went to get you to smell fun, you know? That's like what you think. No. I love oh, okay, wow. you are attend conversation. This is the organizations. I respect you. I shall give my input in terms of organizational development. I have some expertise there in your conversation and skincare. Any part of skincare. Yeah. Money is part of skincare. It, 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 it is, is the best skincare. Money is the best skincare. It is the best skincare, is the best skincare routine that ever. Done. Because I don't have stress of how I'm going to afford rent and food and everything. You so know. it's not coming like as pimples on my yeah. face. Yeah. And, and like, are, you, I, I'm saying, are you saying this pimples? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying like yeah. that, like all even the things that we're talking about, for instance, if you need to see what do we call them, the ones who analyze your skin? Oh, yeah, dermatologist. Yes, if you need to see a dermatologist, because some people will get like conditions like that. You need the money, all right? Yeah. And if I don't have money, I don't oh. have somebody to do a skin analysis and tell me. Because the way I got into sunscreen, it's I did a skin analysis and then I was told, honey. <laughs> The sun has destroyed your skin. I don't know the age, like the I, I estimate the age of your face versus your age. I was like, I am, I am, I, I, I'm not going to be older oh than my ears. <laughs> I want when I'm forty, I want to look forty. Yeah. Yeah, right? I, I don't mind looking forty and having white hair and, yeah. and wrinkles and everything. Well, but I'm twenty five. So. Like, I know. I mean, clearly, um, <laughs> but just being able to to uh, know these things as well. Mm -hmm. Money is the best. Money is good. Money is good. Yeah.